Hello guys, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to write data to a binary file uh, in a, a cross-platform way. That means that uh, it will write data in Android, iOS, and this phone, all three. Uh, it will support all the all three operating systems. So uh, I'm going to create a function. Uh, my data handler class. Let's call it save app data. Yeah. And also, I have created a Boolean variable, which you can, of course, uh, this is for me. Basically, this is to check whether the data is going to be uh, stored for the first time. Uh, I mean, it's a new file or like it's a it's an existing data. So let's say that uh, 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 let's say that you have to write uh, three strings. So let's say. Uh, of course, you can modify the function yourself as per your need. So let's say you want to store string, three strings, string one, string two, and string three. I mean, you can write as as you want. And let's say S1 is equal to 23, and S2 is equal to 33, or anything actually, something. Uh, this is awesome. Mm. Let me have time limits. This is off. And now we have to write this. Now, as you remember in the previous tutorial, we showed you how to get the path to a file. So let's say that uh, we want to open a file. Let's, so for that, we use the output file stream uh, output file stream and then a variable file now let's open the file file.open and we're going to give a name to the file uh, path to the file so we'll use get path and then we'll use the file name let's say we call it data.bin okay, because it's a binary file you can actually name it anything so let's say it is uh, let's call it app data, app data. Now, now it's really simple you just uh, use the uh, C in C out uh, preprocessors it's exactly like that you say file s1 and also you can append one uh, 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 next line character at the end so you can even append it here but it's better if you append it there because then it becomes independent of what you store in uh, uh, the variable. You will always get this. So let's write the other two. And we have s2 plus uh, n. And then we have s3 plus. So this next line character will actually help in reading the file when you read the file and then you write close now now one thing i want to point out here is uh, every time we do this the actual contents of the file gets overwritten so we want to make sure that uh, things uh, are you know read before they're written or if it's not the first time i mean you guys can understand i mean it's your uh, choice how you want to do it and that's it so that's how you save the data or write the data to a binary file and this will work on iOS, Android and also Windows Phone. So thank you guys and thank you for watching this tutorial. Don't forget to download our game Seven Lives. Thanks a lot.